given the long long operation time, do do strainer engages need recalibrating? So I'm so saying. recalibration. Um, I, I think generally a strain gauge has a gauge factor for life, um, and if it remains bonded, it will remain um, stable and reliable. Um, it can be down to the material it's bonded to, because of course if the material it's bonded to changes, then clearly that will um, change the, the apparent um, calibration. But again, we have anecdotal evidence of load cells being calibrated year on year for more than 50 years, and simply there is no change. It's just that for reasons of traceability, they are recompared and recertified. So essentially, you can consider a strain gauge to be, you know, you get it with a gauge factor. That is the gauge factor for life under under certain conditions. Um, gauges do fail if you're using very high cycle fatigue, very high strain levels, that kind of thing. But again, there are products you can choose that will make a gauge last longer at higher strains. Calibration remains essentially constant. I think. I think the recalibration tends to be more at the transducer level if you've done something unkind to it. Yes. <laughs> um, 